Now you are finally gonna be who you really are. We have to face it, this exists. There is a second Space Jam movie in 2022. You may be thinking, wow, it doesn't make much sense to make a sequel to this movie about a basketball star in the Looney Tunes, right? The thing is, it never made sense. It doesn't make too much sense now, and it didn't make sense back in 1996. However, and against all odds and technical difficulties, they made it. The first Space Jam was nothing but a weird excuse to create a visual piece that was basically a very long ad for Nike and other popular brands and sell it as a movie. And boy, they did it again. But hey, maybe you don't even remember the first Space Jam movie. Or maybe you're too young to have watched it or to even care. If that's your case, don't worry. The Hollywood machine is here to cover that need you certainly didn't know you had. To watch a so-called basketball movie starring LeBron James and the beloved Warner Brothers intellectual properties. At least there's always fun to be had around finding mistakes and wrongdoings in the movie. So come with us to find all the mistakes you missed in Space Jam 2. That's the power of Warner 3000. Say yes, LeBron. Let's begin with Algae Rhythms. Yes, that's the name of the algorithm. It's not a mistake per se, but having that idea was indeed a mistake. My name, right? <laughs> oh, man. We rest our case. The guy is a sentient algorithm inside the servers of Warner Brothers computers and is responsible for the idea of the movie we are watching. But it also makes clear that the movie is just about the strategy of mixing LeBron James's fame with the ideas from the algorithm. Hmm, certainly a kind of in-the-face meta approach to justify the complete lack of originality. It seems like exposition to Lana Wachowski's ideas for Matrix Resurrections really affected Warner executives, but they took it to the next level to create the ultimate commercial. They even make James say, what in the Matrix hell? Right before the computer absorbs him inside its AI-generated world. Not too original of an idea if you ask us. Tron is yelling from back in the day to claim its 1982 plot. When Malik says, Dom, using the medulla oblongata in the reunion at Warner, he's just talking nonsense. That part of the brain does not partake in thinking or reasoning. It just controls involuntary functions such as sneezing, breathing, and vomiting. Cringe. What's with the terrible editing right after Dom disappears into the server's room? LeBron runs toward him, he stops, and then we get this horrible cut jump to LeBron standing in front of a green screen. We mean in front of whatever that giant transformer ball is. What in the Matrix hell? Pete. Should we talk about Pete? What is Pete? Pete is a mistake. Next. Dom can be as smart as the next genius, but the technology he uses is obviously an exaggeration. If anyone could perform that kind of 3D scan with their smartphone, everybody would be making movies like this one, not only the big corporations like Warner. Why, why, why freeze? No, no, no. Now this is at least a continuity mistake. Why is it that in the first Space Jam movie, Michael Jordan goes to the Looney Tunes dimension or universe or whatever, but he remains a human, and in this movie, when James does the same thing, he becomes a cartoon? Inconsistent. Or there's a simpler explanation. LeBron James didn't want to do all the hard work that implies filming a live-action animated movie, and he just went the easy way. Turn me into a cartoon. They must have saved a lot of time and money with all that first half of the movie. And we hate to insist on this subject, but why, just why does he turn into his human self again when they visit the worlds of Mad Max and Casablanca? It doesn't make sense! And following the logic of these upgrades and transformations, why upgrading LeBron turns him into his regular human self but upgrading the Looney Tunes just gave them a Chip and Dale-style 3D surgery? It would have been more interesting if somehow the Looney Tunes went beyond that and looked human. Interesting and nightmarish, we'll give you that one. This means war. <gasps> Whatever, fuck. How did the James family find the server room? Just how? They didn't track LeBron's phone because earlier we saw that his phone went with him down into the serververse. Okay, now people around the world are being scanned and digitized into the serververse through their phones. Because we all know that any $200 phone and above can do such things. Whoa, technology! And moreover, if the people that got digitized were watching their phones at that moment, like the movie explains to us, how did Ernie Johnson, the balding narrator guy, get removed from a live TV show if he wasn't looking at his phone? Yep, that's a mistake. When Algae Rhythm announces, Mr. Dominic James, the crowd goes mad and cheers loudly. 
But if you think about it for half a second, that doesn't make any sense. The kid has nothing to be praised for. He was just LeBron's kid. That's all. Why can't Dom listen to his mother screaming at him through the weird techno barrier that separates the players from the crowd, but LeBron talks to her without any trouble in a normal voice? Sorry, that's another mistake. You know something? If we're going out, we're going out loony. Oh, and it gets worse. Later in the game, the older James boy, the same one that told his mom, I think he can't hear you, shouts a tip about power-ups to LeBron, and of course he hears it. Ugh. How does wet fire work around the court? How can the rest of the players even run over wet, slippery surfaces? The character concept is cool for a franchise like X-Men, but not for a basketball court. When White Mamba scores Goon Squad's first points, she receives style points and LeBron acts all surprised as if he doesn't know what's happening. But he should know about that. Dom explained it to him in his room at the beginning of the movie. Yosemite Sam is part of the team, but he never plays. Not even for a second. Yet we see him all tired in the restroom scene during the halftime break. Once again with the barrier force field inconsistency, LeBron gives his son this cheesy speech about love and paternity, and the mother hears it all from across the court. Not only that, everybody hears it. So were the screens above them broadcasting the speech? Who knows? Please, movie, set your own rules and follow them. This has to count as a mistake. Remember that fun joke they made in Chippendale about 3D characters in the uncanny valley with their dead eyes? Just look at the eyes of supersized 3D algae rhythm. So dead, so empty. Not every 3D surgery goes as expected. Did this movie just kill Bugs Bunny or are we tripping? It was really trippy all along, but seeing Bugs die is excessive. The posterized play only gives them two lousy points, barely enough to win the game on the last second. But this was a great play that involved a lot of style and a posterization of the rival team's captain. The game should bestow lots and lots of points on this move, but that doesn't happen. How is this possible? LeBron and Dom are allegedly walking their way to basketball camp, and from one second to the next, as LeBron decides it's time to let his son choose his way, they are right in front of the E3 game design camp. How? Didn't Dom know where this was going to take place? Has he never been on the streets in his own city? Is he blind? Come on! Okay, we didn't see Bugs die, but this is far more transcendental. He is now part of the real world as a cartoon, he and the rest of the Looney Tunes. So Warner servers have literally remade reality and summon a cartoon into reality. Can we quote Marvel's Agatha Harkness for a second? That's chaos magic and another unforgivable mistake in the film's logic. Did you notice all these mistakes in Space Jam 2? What else did you notice? Are there other specific things we didn't catch? Or is there something you would have changed about this movie? Did you like it? Show us your observation skills and let us know in the comments what else you caught. And don't forget to like, subscribe, turn those notifications on, and share this content with your friends. See you in our next video. What kind of ship are you running here? You gotta call the game fast.